Aha! There had to be a reason to come over here with that thing in my face. So here is one of the first things I've missed. Get that. Bounce, and we're good. So it looks like you have two opportunities to get that. Get all the gems up there. There, that's a little something. Now, just come back carefully and make sure I don't burn my ass. Okay, onward. So this one I actually had to look up, because, yeah, there's that little red gem, and these swords, I guess, count as arrows, but I just kind of overlooked this. There's no floor indication. You can't see it for, for far down and up. But blammo. Okay. And I guess now I'm chasing after that big boy gem. So let's see what we've got here. For Gianna, or G for Gurglewocky, or G for Gem, or G for Game. What other words start with G? Got it. And now we just have an easy exit, apparently. All the way back. Yep, there is no such thing as an easy exit. So I will swing my ass back. Alright, there we are. 398 gems, which means we have 72 gems to get. Either after or during this boss fight. So that's quite a few gems. But we'll see what we can do. Speaking of things that are quite a bit... That was quite a bit of time. Uh, my timer says I've been playing this level for an hour. Uh, that was searching around for things, giving up, looking up a thing. So yeah, uh, be thankful that I didn't subject you to all of that. <laughs> Just a big, big drop here, okay. Or is it a slow drop? No, big drop. That's a drop. Hi. We're Lord, he's fast. And we've got to collect gems along the way. Okay. Oh, so far, so good. Oh my god, he's so fast. He's so fast! Oh, I only died a couple of times on this run. That's, that number's going to get a lot bigger now, I think. Oh, I s just noticed the ground is not touch... Do not touch ground. I'm sorry, I needed it. Oh. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. Rabbit frog. Both hop. You know what else you both do? Suck. There we are, get half my balls. Feeling very panicked by having something chasing me. Oh 
Oh my god, okay. So many deaths, so many deaths. I, I got here so good. And now I'm getting... It's so bad. Fudge the whale. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, okay. I don't like being chased in video games. It's the thing that just makes me so tense every time. And he shouldn't be a threat. Like, I can get ahead of him. But I'm... And then trying to get all the gems. I just need 21 more. Come on. <sighs> Alright. Getting him off the screen. Sort of. Okay, I missed three. And I died somehow. Alright, let's try that again with fewer deaths. Alright, got all the gems. I died a couple of times before... Well, I died once before the chase, and I died, I think, three times during the chase. Now, what in the hell is going to be happening here? Boy, okay. Just want to see what you're up to. What is your game? chasing me. <sighs> it doesn't disappear. Oh, it does disappear. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I don't mean to be hitting two of these at a time. Is it safe now? Down here? It sort of is. Okay, I... I did a good job surviving, but for what? How do I do damage to you? Try something very stupid. Okay. I tried to ram the that wall because it sticks around for such a long time. I thought maybe. Is this just like I wait this out? Wait, wait, what happened? What happened? What did you do? Okay. 
That didn't happen last time. Hmm. Alright, well now I know how to damage him. And I don't know what this is. This is... We're in second stage, so things are going to get kind of nasty. Oh, that is the definition of nasty. That's some Dracula shit right there. Alright. if there's something I'm supposed to be doing to make that burn out. Or if I really just have to avoid it. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, he's setting the floor on fire. The floor is literal lava. Uh, he shot a thingy up. Down and I'm gonna lose my shield, and then it'll come back. Okay. Still in this, still in this. Okay, that hits me up there. Cool beans. This is the rawness right here. This is this is the James experience. again. I know what it takes to hit him. I just am not quite sure if I can speed up that process or how exactly the thing burns out. face. It doesn't seem to have much of an effect. Okay, he's going around in a circle. Aha! Okay, so he needs to set the flaming ball of fire on fire. And I figured it out. Maybe you figured it out before me. Screw you, you're not playing the game. Which you should you should be playing the game, though. This is a good game. I have been enjoying this experience. Oh you son of a I have understood something new. The ball that he spits out will either be blue or red, and you need him to breathe the opposite color onto it in order to make it turn. So I've learned something. I think I've made a discovery. It's not a good one, though. 
see he shot the fireball into the air. It comes raining down. This should not shoot back up. Okay, I'm right. Now, if he were to set the ground on fire, where I couldn't touch it, then if he shot fireballs into the air that came down, when they touch that fire, they shoot back up. It doesn't make it any easier for me to dodge what he's putting down. Well, that's for damn sure. Breathe that fire. That is not the direction I want you to breathe that fire. And I got stuck on that thing. One shot. Alright, now he's gonna breathe the fire on the ground. Okay. And now he's gonna shoot it in the air, and I'm dead. Okay. I need to be high up here so I can watch it coming back up. Which means I need to get to a safe place up here in order to do that. Yeah. Somehow not dead yet. Good news is, I think in the second phase, he only shoots those kinds of fireballs. Which means I don't have to worry about things shooting back up when the floor is on fire. Nope, I was wrong. For me. Oh my god, could this actually be it? Could I do this? After all this time. believe I'm doing this good this time. Oh my goodness. Okay, I meant to switch that to blue. That's fine. this. We got this. We got this, baby. We did it. We frigging did it. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, we did it. Wait. There's... Things are falling. I'm gonna get hurt? Oh... Okay. Wait. Am I getting hurt or not? Was that the end or not? Oh no! No! But I beat you! Oh my god, thank god. That was it, right? That was the biznaz. Yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! I forgot your name, but I saved you! Fucking hell! Oh my god, that is not at all good. But you know what? It doesn't matter, because it's an automatic five stars on the map. So screw you. Screw you, game. Screw you good. Oh my god, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it, everybody. That was so freaking good. Oh, wow. All right. That's the end of Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams. That boss. Knowing what to do and just not being able to pull it off was just so freaking frustrating. And... It just, I could not maneuver as well as I wanted to, or needed to. Also, I'm just noticing that Machine Supremacy poster behind them. So that's nice. I believe their computer is the Commodore 64 boot-up screen for the original Gianna Sisters. That's a nice touch, too. Oh, boy, I was having a hell of a time there. Overall, that just that one level, doing all that stuff, two hours of recording. That's frustrating, but that's the realness for you. That's me going in, you seeing every painful situation there. Although I did kind of truncate those numerous deaths numerous deaths at the end there. So, hopefully that helps. But yeah, this is a nice long video for you guys. And now uh, you see why I sometimes, sometimes I practice levels and then play through it uh, another time for you to see the, the rerun when I know everything. But for that last level, I just figured, you know, that this was the right way to do it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, we're probably going to have a lot of names here from the Kickstarter backers. That's usually how these games go, right? But yeah, um... Maybe a bit premature to give my thoughts on everything, but this this game, I really enjoyed it. I thought the challenge was just right. If you like platformers, then this is definitely a game to get. You know, um, some frustrating parts, but the good kind of frustrating. I'd say only one instance where I fell like the game was kind of cheating me. Uh, maybe more than one, depending. Yeah, I'm talking about trying to find secret areas. But, um... Yeah, I... Yeah, I freaking did it, everybody! I did it. I did the thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that last boss fight was just really... Really, really, really tough. <sighs> oh my goodness. Alright. Um, I have no idea how long these credits are going to go on for, but let's make sure everybody gets their name shown, because they, they worked hard on this game. I didn't know what I was going to get into with this game. I had made myself slightly familiar with the first two games 
They seemed very generic. Of course, uh, the first Gianna Sisters game did not feel like a straight up Super Mario Brothers clone. It did some different things, but the controls for that were not great. Uh, the, the Commodore only has one button, so it's pressing up to jump and A to attack, or whatever number or name, letter, button, whatever for that thing. No, I wouldn't recommend that playing that now. The DS game, maybe, but it was still felt just like nothing special. This felt special. This felt like a game that you should really, really go for. Good challenge, good gimmick. <sighs> just good. Good all around. And we will now have more good going into some extra levels. Haha, <laughs> you thought I was going to say the expansion. No, I didn't forget about these. We're going to knock these out and then we'll go to the expansion. So, next time, everybody will clean this up and then we will head into Rise of the Owlvorvord. 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 Love you.